Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about the one of the best apps I've found so far on the iPhone 4, and it's called Spring Tomize. This app is truly one of the best applications I have found so far, be it jailbroken app or Apple application. This is one of the best apps that you will find on your at Cydia for your iPhone. It's spring to my eyes, and let me show you how it works. Open up spring to my eyes, and what it is is it's a, just a combination of so many features all rolled into one. It it would it would eliminate so many different tweaks that you would have to download one at a time. It puts them all together in one application, and they're just so easy to use it's pretty much self-explanatory but if you have any problems I'm sure you can find other YouTube videos or instructions on line on how to use the spring to user features but just one of the things I'm going to show you here a few things under general first of all you can go in under general and you can enable or disable the application right off the bat right there if you don't want to use it it's slowing your uh, phone down or something's going on you want to try to figure out what's happening you can disable it right there and see if that's causing your problem and in there you can disable your screen flies the spotlight the web search the page dots the, the different paging back out there it's capabilities there's another list here. You can you, it has on and off buttons that you can turn things off, on and off. Your front camera, your HDR camera, your multitasking, voice control. Uh, I don't know about you, but to me that that voice control is a little pesky because I'm always hitting that home button twice and turning that on. To me, that was a good feature. Um, some more features are the icons. This allows you to put more than four or five or six icons in a row you can have as many icons as you want on your dock at a time or on a page at a time it does it by features for the dock and features for the page it's all in here together for one you know before that was a big thing when the iPhone first came out everybody wanted their, their dock to scroll well now that's not that big a deal but here it's just one of the features that, that, that is goes along with this application. It's not the only thing it does, but it is one of the things it does. You can hide the labels, the shadows, the badges. You can disable the jittering. How many of you have touched a uh, application too long and caused it to start jingling on the screen so you could uh, delete it? I know I have this disables it icons per, icons per line that's what I was talking about a while ago you, it, it will allow you to put as many icons as you want to on your screen or on your dock in each line you know the, the and here's another option too under the uh, icons I think it was you can resize the icons right here but after you make all these modifications in here you do have to respring each time but say you find a uh, way that you've got it set it's just perfect for you okay you can come in here and you can go under the save button and you can save that and then you can go back at a later time and go under save layouts click it on bam right there it is again if something happened and you got got it mixed up, you can go right back to your save layouts. Status bar, that's just bar across the top of the screen up here. It gives you all these different options under there. You can turn on turn off you can disable the time, the carrier, the Wi Fi sign, the battery, the the battery percentage. You, it, it's just got so many different things you can do under here. And right here's another thing you can do. You can you can hide your padlock on the uh, lock screen. The padlock. Uh, I think I'm on that section. No, actually I'm not. 
that was the status bar still yet. Here's the lock screen. Here are the settings for your lock screen. You can disable all the different things on there, the time, the date. You can enable the iPod to where you can play it straight from the lock screen. I, that's, that's another great fe feature of this application. You can have the, the top bar on the lock screen. You can increase or decrease the time, size, or the date size. Like I'm saying guys, this application is endless as to what it almost you can do with it. Folders, you can have the labels, you can disable the view, uh, remove the animation, all this, these, the buttons part of it. You can change the way your buttons look. The animation and the theming part, I'm not real clear on those parts just yet. I don't know how these sections work. Uh, if somebody out there knows how these work, shoot me an email, tell me how they work. I've not found out to all of these uh, the limits that it that it does have just yet. I'm no professional on this. I am just showing you this to let you know that it is it is available. I'm by no means the the uh, professional spring demise iPhone guy. So just letting you know that um, if you know how to work the animations and the theming, I, I know a little bit about it, but let me know some more about it if you know more about it. But I can promise you this is an application that you want to get for your phone. It allows you to do so much. Uh, like I said before, you can, you can have your iPod right here where you can just open it up, double click your home key, and it brings up your iPod. You see, I've got that feature enabled on mine. So, download it. It's free right now. Uh, I think in a few days they're going to start charging two ninety nine for it. So, if you go think you might want it, now's the time to get it. It's not. It's not. They're not charging for it. Check it out. It's on Cydia. I hope this helps. Come over to iPhone4Noob.com. Check out all the latest reviews and tips. See you later.